Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Candyware and today we're going to be making this blueberry donut earrings and necklace set. Now this is sponsored content from BB Crafts. They gave me the findings that you see here and I will be doing a short review on what I think of their products. So first we're going to be taking our Sahara clay and we're going to be rolling it into a snake and we're going to be cutting out different sizes for the different donuts. So two small pieces, two medium sized pieces and one larger piece. Then we're going to make them into little circles and then flatten them on our work surface. And I am using a tile for this. So you just see me rolling the little ball and flattening it like that. So once we've done it to all five pieces, we're going to be taking our dotting tool. Now, if you don't have a dotting tool, you can also do this with a toothpick. And we're just going to add in little holes so that it looks like a donut. Very simple. Now the two, uh, the earring set and the necklace, we're gonna also pick it up and do this on the opposite side so that if it does flip over, it still looks like a donut on the other side. So we're just gonna use our X-Acto knife and pull up the pieces here, like you see. And then we're just gonna flip it over and like I said, just put in the little hole. And then we're going to do this again for the dangle earrings. So this would be the medium sized donuts that we're making. And then we can flip those over again. So now we're going to be just double checking, just double check that you got through the center of the donut. And once we've done that, we're going to be taking a uh, head pin and we're going to add that into the base of the donut on the necklace and the dangle earrings. So you just want to be very gentle pushing it through. My clay is a bit soft, so I'm just going to go back in and just fix any problematic areas with. Uh, just my exacto knife and again we're going to be adding in the head pins to the dangles so you're just gonna push that through and again for the other one so now we're going to be taking some chalk pastels in light and dark brown and you're just going to shave a little bit off on your work surface and then I'm just going to be using a paintbrush and you always want to start with the lighter color and you're just going to rub that around the the donut and then we're going to be doing it for the rest of them so again start with the light and go in with the dark and again with the dangles and the ear or er, in the necklace what you want to do is add a whole bunch to the opposite side also so that again it looks like a donut on the opposite side that doesn't have the icing so as you can see i'm just grabbing the other side of the donut that's not going to have the icing and just adding a whole bunch of chalk pastels so it looks like it's been baked or deep fried whichever you prefer so after that, we're going to be adding on the icing. Now I do have a separate video on how to make basic vanilla icing, and the only difference here is you're going to be adding in a different chalk pastel to give it this color. So we're just going to add in all the icing to all of the donuts, and so I like to add a generous amount first and then go in with my toothpick just to flush out uh, the icing just to cover up the whole top of it to give it that real donut look. Now we're going to be adding on the sprinkles and again I do have a separate video on how to make sprinkles which I'll leave both of those in the description box below and we're just going to add on a generous amount of sprinkles. Uh, you can definitely add it over the whole entire donut but I like to keep it to one side and we're just going to have some fun with it. It doesn't really matter where they fall, just place them, just have some fun with it. After that, you're going to bake it according to your clay's instructions. I use Fimo to give you an idea of temperatures. So once it's cool to the touch, we're going to make these into jewelry. So we're going to grab our pliers and we're going to take, I'm gonna take the necklace first just to show you. So we're gonna take our needle nose pliers and hold it. And then we're going to be taking our flatbed pliers and wrapping it around the needle nose until it's a nice little loop. Then we're going to take the needle nose out and hold the loop we made and then just keep looping around the flatbed 
with the flatbed and we're going to do this two more times to give you an idea of what this looks like so again you're just going to loop around the wire pull it tight then you're going to pull out the pliers hold the loop and then just keep looping it around until you can't loop it any further so then you want to try and make sure that you get these about the same size so I like to hold it in place and then just loop it around I have a good gauge for this since I've been doing this a while but you can always hold up your one that you've made like that just to make sure that it looks okay and then you're just gonna keep looping it around and what I like to do is use uh, nail clippers that I, I have just specifically for crafting because they are not that sharp anymore and cut off the excess because you can get a nice close cut with with these so that's a special little trick for you there So once you've cut all those off, now is the time to make these into jewelry. So once you have those all out, we're going to be taking the findings that we got from BB Crafts. So I was sent these Oh, sorry, my bad. What we're going to be doing first is adding on some gloss. So we're going to gloss just the top of where the icing is just to give this a little bit of a sheen like it's like it's a real donut. And I am using Sculpey Gloss, if you're wondering. So once that that's dry, we're going to be using these, the findings that I got from BB Crafts. So that is the necklace and I, Found that the quality of these products are so great so each necklace is individually wrapped so that they don't get tangled which I love and I'm really getting into these types of necklaces that are just the the, the beads just because they're they're just great they're just wonderful products so I'm going to take a loop and we're just going to add that into the biggest donuts which is the necklace and we're just going to close that up and this guy is done. How simple is that? So next we're going to be working with the We've got the studs and then we also have the dangles and that is the company that these are made from again The quality is amazing. Um, I like the, the color They're just really well made. So if you want something that's that has great pricing and quality, I would really suggest BB Crafts. So what I'm using as a crazy glue is actually UV resin. I really like the hold that UV resin has. So not only can you use it as a gloss, but you can also use it as uh, pretty much an all-purpose glue. So I'm just adding a little dollop on the backs of the studs and then I'm going to add on the findings. And then I'm just going to use my UV torch to, to just light it a little bit and then I'm going to add it into my UV light box afterwards. So while that's curing, I'm going to be taking um, the dangles and these again, the quality is just so great guys. So um, they open up backwards from what I'm used to, but that's okay. So you just got to open these up and I like to use my needle head pliers so that we don't ruin the loop that's already been created. So you're just going to add that on. And then I like to use my flatbed pliers just to close it up. And we're going to do that again. And close that up. And here's what they look like finished. I'm so happy with how they look. I really like the quality that uh, BB Crafts has. And don't forget to check out the description box below. There's all the information down there that you could need for them. I mean, look at this nice close up on what the, the findings look like. And they just add so lovely to my jewelry. So I hope you will go give them a check. 
give them a check out um just because they're they're lovely people to work with anyways thanks so much for watching guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget check out my twitch if you want more content like this anyways guys have a wonderful day and i hope to see you again next time bye